Hi guys, it's New Master, and in this video, I'll be showcasing my random maze generator. This is a device that can generate randomized mazes. Uh, the mazes that it generates will always reach the end, so the maze will always have a path to the end. The maze will, on will always only have one path to the end, so there won't be any loops or anything like that. No loops, only one path to the end. And the maze will always fill up the entire screen, so all of these intersections will be filled up. Uh, the units are modular, so you can make this as big as you want. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, it uses an algorithm called Prim's algorithm. Uh, I'm not going to explain how it works in this video, and maybe in a future video. But uh, the only downside to it really is its speed. It's pretty slow, like really slow. You have to wait for it. Uh, that's just because of how the algorithm works. Um, I'll go into it in a different video or something. Uh, another thing I want to say is I'm on a server right now. I'm not on my normal world because of the problem that I had with stacking, uh, stacking these things with items in it, like that. Uh, that's crucial for this to work. And I didn't want to have to do that in single player again. And also this server is newly founded and I thought um, that I would play on it because it's an awesome server. Uh, I can't give out the IP to it yet because it's not public, but it will be soon. So once it is, I will uh, give that out. So anyway, um, I'm going to generate a whole board on camera. It will be slow. Uh, I'm going to put some music to it make it as cool as it is possible but it is slow just because of how the algorithm works like uh, the reason it's so slow is that each cell when it's clocked decides one of four directions or multiple directions it wants to branch and uh, sometimes it might decide that oh, I want to branch to the left but there's nothing there so it can't branch or I want to branch backwards the way I can but I can't but it can't do that either because like this cell can't branch back because there's already a cell there so that's why it's so slow uh, it like basically it starts out slow and then once there's more cells are open it will go faster and then once there are less after it fills up most of the way it will be uh, slower again so if you graphed it it'd be like a parabola in speed um, but uh, it still works I mean I don't want to make the clock any slower because it might screw up. I haven't deb full. I haven't not fully bu done debugging yet, so uh, I might make another video of this once I've finished uh, optimizing and stuff, like usual. Um, but anyways, let's uh, generate a board and uh, s just watch it in action.
Alright, so, uh, maze is finished generating after a while. Yeah, as, as uh, I said, it takes a while. Uh, I hope it wasn't too boring. Uh, I quickly covered this with walls and a roof, and I'm going to uh, try it out. So, let's walk through here. Uh, yeah, so the the uh, things that are, are uh, blocking the path are just like this. Um, I probably could wire one to come from the top, too. Uh, that would take a bit longer. As I said, uh, this maze is probably going to be pretty easy since it's so small, but uh, you can make a bigger arrays. Uh, and it also, um, the bigger the array is, it really doesn't make it take any longer because there's just more stuff to spread to. As you might have seen if you watched the generation part, uh, it really um, it speeds up as it has more places to spread to and then slows back down at the end. Oh man, I'm gonna get myself lost in here, aren't I? There's the end over there, but no way to get to it. Yay. Okay, um... Oh, there's someone else in here. Hello. Let's see what he's saying. No, not saying anything right now. I wonder who's going to reach the end, me or him first. <laughs> no. Dang it, man. This is harder than I thought it would be. I mean, I tried this without, like, the roof and the... Uh, and, well, I actually had a roof, but I didn't have the walls. I tried this with just the roof, and it was actually pretty easy. But I guess with the walls, it's a lot harder. Um, I think this is the right way. Mm -hmm. Um, what makes it kind of hard is that the way that it's laid out, there's like these little nooks that you look into and you see the dead end. So you can't just see the dead end, the ed, the, the, the dead end ahead of you. You have to like actually go and see it. No, I'm not going to follow you. No! Okay, fine. I guess I kind of have to, because that's the right way. No! Okay. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. Freedom! Alright, so... Uh, this might have been slightly boring to watch, and I apologize for that. But I really had a fun time building this, and... Um, I hope you guys had somewhat equal time, fun time watching me. Uh, <laughs> I've already gotten a couple people lost in this, which is good. So anyways, uh, hope to see you guys next time, and thank you for watching.